homeschool teacher from New York. Welcome back to my channel. So I've got a video I did a while back and in that video I showed you how to turn a PDF worksheet into an editable worksheet in Google Slides. But some people had some issues with that because I used text boxes in that video like in most of the YouTube videos on this subject and the students could accidentally resize or move around the text boxes. So in this video I'm going to show you another way. We're going to use tables, which are much harder to move around and resize. So, not impossible, but much harder. And also, if you have your worksheet as a paper worksheet, you can just take a picture of it with your phone or scan it in and do it that way, get it into your drive, and you can still follow these same steps. Anyway, I really hope you find it helpful. If you do, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. So I've got my PDF here in my Google Drive, and I'm just going to click on that to open it up. And now what I want to do is make a screenshot. So I'm going to press Command-Shift-Minus or Control-Shift-Minus, depending on what kind of computer you're on, just until I can see the whole thing. And now I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm on a Mac, so that's Command-Shift-4 for a screenshot for me. I just drag it. Drag the little crosshairs around the whole sheet. And there's my screenshot. And now I can go back to my drive, Command-Shift-Plus to get this back to 100%. You can also change it on that little bar. And now I'm going to go to New Slides and open a new Google Slides presentation. I'm going to go to Layout and select Blank. And I'm also going to close out these themes so I have a nice clean workspace. I'll title my presentation. And now I need to change the page setup. So let's go to Page Setup. And I want this to be a worksheet, so I want it to be the same as paper. So that's 8.5 by 11. And now, I don't want to insert that screenshot I just took as an image. I want to insert it as a background so the students can't move it around at all. I'm going to upload it. And it was a screenshot. My screenshots go to the desktop. And it's this top one because I sort them by date modified. And there is my worksheet. So I might want to redo that screenshot because I got a little black at the top. And also, if your screenshot's a little fuzzy, if you're on a Mac, Command-Shift-4 should do it. If you're on a PC and you use the snipping tool, you need to change the resolution of your snipping tool. And if you just Google it, you can find out how to do that on a PC. If you're on a Chromebook, the shortcut for a screenshot is Command-Shift and the Windows-Shift key. Okay, so now this is in my other video and in a lot of YouTube videos, this is where you put in the text box. But there's another way that's harder to move around. Not impossible, just harder. So let's go to Insert, Table, and just pick one by one. And now we have a nice little table that I'm going to just size down and grab and drag. And now I can resize it. So that's just about the same size. And now you can see this already has a text box in it. So what I need to do is change the font. So I'm going to pick, I like this one, Delius Unicase. If you want to find more fonts like this than you see in your list down here, just click on More Fonts. And you can scroll through here, see all scripts. And there's a whole list here. You can look for it, you can search for it by name if you know the name. So that's how you get to more fonts and slides. If you use extensus fonts like you know I often do, it's the same list in more fonts as extensus. I just like the layout in extensus. So anyway, let me ch change that font and change the font size. Let's try 18. That still looks a little small, so I'm going to make this bigger. Let's try 24. Okay, that looks good. So, and then you could play with the arrangement of it, move it down a little if you want. Um, you can leave that in as an example, or you can take it out. You can also change the font color if you want the student's work to be in a different color. 
so that it looks like that so it's easier to spot that they typed it in and now that I've changed I've inserted my table and I've and I've set it up the way I want it to I'm gonna highlight this table and press command D because that's gonna duplicate it and then I just drag it down and you can see by these little outlines that the table's there now I don't want those outlines so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to border color and make it transparent and so now you can see the border is gone and the same thing here so now when I duplicate it also has the transparent border so these are obviously movable but they are harder to move than text boxes as you can tell so then you just do that for the whole worksheet when you've got all your text boxes in there and you have your worksheet ready to go I'm gonna to go to Google Classroom I'm gonna to go to classwork and create an assignment give whatever instructions you want and add from Google Drive it's right here in my recents and notice from the icon I can tell that this is the slide and this is the PDF so I'm going to add the slide and this is the important part make a copy for each student now make sure you have it exactly how you want it before you make a copy because once you make a copy for each student you can't make any changes the changes you make on the original will not show up for the students assign it to all students this is classwork because I've set up my grade categories and my due date will be on Friday and my topic will be this week's work and I can either schedule it for later or just go ahead and assign it now okay so now we've assigned it let's go see what it looks like from a student's point of view okay so I'm in the students classroom and I'm gonna to go to classwork and here it is addition worksheet open it up and there it is and you can also teach the students if you want that if they want to change what it looks like they can go to view zoom and 100% if that's easier for them to navigate so there you have it that's an easier way to make the assignment you can see that it is harder for the students to accidentally move this around uh, it is still possible but it's harder to move around and they can just click and insert their answers and then when they're done they go back to the assignment in Google Classroom and click on turn in and then you get the work turned in in Google Classroom so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you found it helpful please take a moment to like the video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tell all your teacher friends about it thanks so much for watching Thank you.